Welcome to another video and this weekend it's a race weekend so this is going to be the race video for Challenge Wales 2022. Disclaimer it's not going to be like this <laughs> all video. If you're in the UK you'll know it's 30, 30 degrees forecast for Friday it might be 32 now and then Saturday in Wales 12 degrees and raining sideways. <laughs> so we've got that to look forward to we're still up in Rutland at the minute at home it's so got a long drive down to Swansea tonight. We're uh, staying at the Monday's house and then uh, heading over to Fishguard tomorrow. Check the course out and then the race on Saturday. But just getting in the last sort sweaty. of e yeah, sweaty, easy jog at home. And then uh, pack the car this afternoon and get down. Oh yeah, looking forward to getting back racing. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge Wales. I've already done the intro, man. Oh. <laughs> we're uh, we're in Swansea, and it is sunny in Swansea. Heading down to the swimming pool for a little swim with Mr. Monday. Yeah, do a little two k set day before the race. Nice and chilled, and then we're going to head over to Fishguard this afternoon and get a spin in on the bicycles. One hour later. Swim done. 2.2k I think we got to, didn't we? Yeah, that's, that's right. A few little uh, pickups and, and the like, so now we're just gonna get back to Will's place. You gotta pack your car, aren't you? Yeah, just uh, throw some bits in the bag. And then head over to Fishguard. It's sunny, so we'll get out for a bike ride when we're there, and we uh, might get the drone up in the sky as well. <laughs> yeah. Nice. See you there. <laughs> Right, we made it to Fishguard. Will's now having us through town. The Airbnb is pretty damn sweet. So now we're just heading out for a spin. Oh, there's a cop there. Eh? That's useful. Yeah, a little, uh, little hour spin with a few pickups. Matchy matchy. Right around the course, it's coming back now actually. The wind's gonna flip round from today, tomorrow, but nice rolling course. Pretty uh, fast road, and it's uh, not as sketchy as I thought it might be, which is good. Quite big roads, but plenty of room for overtaking and the like. We didn't go and see the bit in St. David's, the little uh, UK's smallest city, where there's a turnaround, but we'll see how that is tomorrow. Anyway, let's get back to fish guard, get registered. All registered, seems pretty Tiny straightforward. Caravan. Tiny caravan, good spot. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, nothing more but to get some food, eat, sleep, get up, pray, pray, race. I don't know who's going to film. I'm going to have to pass the GoPro to my mum, who's here as well. So, look forward to that.
So there we go, Challenge Wales done and dusted, we're now back home, long drive home, like five hours, got bikes to clean, just what Catherine's doing through there, and uh, yeah, fairly successful weekend all round, it was great to catch up with a few people. The race itself, so the swim was pretty choppy as you probably saw, I came out about two and a half minutes down on Aaron Royal, who was at the very front. It was a bit unique this race because the age group has started with the pros, so it was a good opportunity to see where I'd actually stack up against a pretty good quality pro field. So came out of the swim about two and a half minutes down. I was about a minute down on like a bigger pack, um, which would have been good to be in. So I think there's some work to do there on my swim. And then the bike kind of went well to begin with. My heart rate was pretty high up the first climb and then and then the rest of the bike sat in a pack of, I think there was about five or six of us doing kind of sharing the work around. And yeah, I guess the last quarter of that probably backed it off a bit and sat in ready for the run because I wanted to run better than I have done so far this year at this race. It was a, a somewhat sketchy bike course in places. It was open roads and a few interesting junctions. So it was good to get off the bike in one piece and then starting the run. Initially, I didn't think I was going too well. And then the legs kind of came good after the first couple of minutes, which was a relief. And uh, yeah, the run course had some pretty savage hills on it. Elliot and Finn were the two pros in our group. They kind of ran away. I think they both ended up putting about three and a half minutes to, into me over the half marathon. Um, but I ended up coming back in first age grouper. So that was a bit of a result. And also I think with a result from last year from Outlaw, I think I now have enough to meet the pro license criteria. But I need to do my maths on that and uh, double check that because that would be an embarrassing thing to say <laughs> if it's not true. I will have another update coming soon on that pro license uh, criteria and whatnot, but that is pretty much it for this race video from Challenge Well. If you enjoyed the video, then leave it a like and make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. I've got a few more triathlons this year, no doubt, so we'll see you in those. Thanks for watching.